Businesses could soon face fines if they don't take action to investigate and prevent slavery and exploitation in their supply chains. The head of the group tackling the issue, Rob Fife, says he's not proud of New Zealand's track record, but change is coming. Investigations reporter Michael Mora has the story. Just this week, an undercover investigation documented children as young as 10 wielding machetes to harvest cocoa. Switch the camera on. Hey, stop here, stop here. Child labour alleged to be linked to the world-famous Cadbury brand. In New Zealand, we're estimated to spend $34 every week on goods linked to slave labour. Former detective and human rights investigator Gary Shaw has witnessed all forms of it. I have investigated cases of people who were literally chained to uh, their sewing machine or their bed where they were uh, literally forced to make uh, garments. Shaw, who now works with clothing brand Katmandu, is part of a group that today delivered a proposal for new laws. New Zealanders are currently buying goods and services that are at some level, in some cases, made by people who are in forms of exploitation and slavery. We don't know as consumers what we are buying that is associated potentially with, with the conditions of people living in slavery. So the onus is being put on business to have oversight and fines for failure are likely. We're not looking at additional criminal penalties being brought into this regime. Uh, but we do think that there probably is um, a role for financial penalties. The proposal implicates all businesses. Depending on annual revenue, responsibilities include taking reasonable action if they become aware of slavery in their international supply chains, undertaking due diligence to prevent it in New Zealand and disclosing steps they are taking to address slavery in their international operations. The UK introduced anti-slavery rules in 2015, Australia in 2018. New Zealand has lagged behind. The proposal we've come up with will allow us to move back to the forefront of what's happening globally. But at the moment, yes, we're not in the position I, I would feel proud of personally. This is just a proposal which will be consulted on, but the Minister says he wants to see legislation in place before September next year. A government agency or possibly a commissioner will be in charge of overseeing the situation to ensure businesses follow the law. Michael Morrow, New South.